body with Spurney here and Son of Beast here. This is where the last one comes in for Win to get in to the playoffs. This last part of the team, as we are about to be doing, we're switching it up differently and starting off with the Western Conference first. This matchup, as we're about to be seeing, is the last one to be on the same on the showdown that happened here before. It's the Golden State Warriors, and they are playing against Sacramento Kings on the other side of the team. Now, they are really are going to start showing it off how it's done. Because at this point, they've been really been knocking and crushing in between since you recalled it in Season 6 of the NBA official of the regular season of 2K22. This is what happens that most teams can definitely be knocking over in between from the Sacramento Kings. This wasn't the day that they used to be liking this one in between from the San Francisco area and to Sacramento section on the other side. But now, we might find out who is going to take and win and move on to face against the number one side tank of the Timberwolves. And here are the starting lineups for the two. We have Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, Andrew Wiggins, Jonathan Kaminga, and Draymond Green. On the other side, we have is De'Aaron Fox, Kevin Herter, Harrison Barnes, Kagan Murray, and Demanta Sabonis. Now it's time to take you down as Terry Crews stands by along with the, along with the crew of Light Rain. And finally, we have it right here, all calls for Mr. Gangsta Beast. And we will be back with you shortly for our last part of the Western Conference playing tournament and for the halftime show coming up. We've got Ernie Johnson, Kenny Jet Smith, and Chevronier. Now, time to get you rolling. It's the showdown between the Warriors and the Kings. The race towards to the playoff spot. Let's roll. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Hey everyone, it's Terry Crews, and this is the play-in tournament, Win to Get In. I'm here along with my uh, broadcasting partner here for tonight's game. As the Warriors are taking on against the Kings, we are seeing what's going to happen with the last part of the team in between. Along with the groups, Darren Fox and Stephen Curry are the key matchups in the point guard positions. I'm here along with Light Brain and Gangsta Beast here on the other side. And our reporter will be up in just a moment, but this time, it's going to be a win to get in to face against the number one seed team of the Western Conference of the, of the division. You know, a biggest standing of it, I really have to say that this one's going to be all for everything. We've seen that one playing back in Season 6, and there might be one thing that's going to be a one close to a number. You know, I'm really sure about this. Let's see if they can definitely do this on their own. We love to have that one on their own. For the starting groups, we have it all fueled up and ready to go as Curry is on De'Aaron Fox. And it's Thompson on Kevin Herter. Keegan Murray is on Jonathan Kaminga. Now Harrison Barnes is on Andrew Wiggins. And finally, Sabonis is covered up here by Draymond Green. Here's De'Aaron Fox. He will have his possession on the start team. Try to cut him out. To put a speed move up on the fadeaway. No good on the shot. First rebound will come in for Jonathan Kaminga, and now he will give a dish off to Thompson. He decides to give to Stephen Curry. Fade a shot, and here's Wiggins for three. This one's good with a three point range near the bleachers. As this one, he has his first bucket against Sacramento in a play inbound. You know, the hard thing about Andrew Wiggins, he's really looking at domain dominance performance. Not for the best effort out of it, but he's been really been going over this since every day. You play like that, you've done hard, you go working strong. The first foul has been called on Jonathan Kaminga. That'll be his first personal and their first team foul for the Golden State. Keegan Murray at the free throw line will have his first trip to the free throw. You know, playing effort is not always easy enough. When you do the best thing as you can. You don't want to make a mess on that. You've got to like play hard, do the right thing you got to do. 
That's why that Keegan Murray has been really wanting to get to the free throw line. He's going to show what his response is. First free throw comes in for Keegan Murray. Now, Keegan Murray wasn't able to be a lot of successful in range, but his ultimate in practice to performance skills really might have to be determining one by another. You know, an easy effect about Keegan Murray, you can get that with a lot of good secret out there. Just play hard and do the best things you can. I know you've been going over this, but sometimes it can be a lot harder and difficult and challenge to get right from here. Not for everybody who's up for an never takeover, but they want to do a next level. Easy to say about that. Maybe because of Keegan Murray does have it. I, I know they are doing this. Try not to keep that one harder if you can. Here's Thompson right towards the free point line, and now here's Kaminga watching over Murray. The layup puts up an unsuccessful attempt for Jonathan Kaminga. That'll be his first miss of the night. And Fox looking it over. Free for Murray. That one misses offside. The Easter inbound is not going to pick up straight because this one will not end on the pressure and they can't leave it all alone. This mark is going to be like a killer for tonight. Here's Thompson on the other side and Fox on him. He puts it right over to Wiggins. Draymond Green over Sabonis. It's good. Draymond Green with his first bucket with a good pass attempt here for Andrew Wiggins. You know, easier take is not always impressive, but you really got to show off, do you, DR? I know he's going great. Then they will have to get it back this time as Thompson will have his first rebound. He swings it over again to Curry. Curry gives it back again to Jonathan Kaminga. Kaminga over again to Curry. Over with the elbow, and that's good. Stephen Curry with his first bucket. Their team is up ahead by five. Ah, uh, just keep on going if you really want to stop on this. You gotta show who's your your best player to guard. Maybe there might be one chance. Well, you may never guess it out there, life free, because there's one way that could be a star. Anybody could be a star in that, they're like, right? Just important. Ah, yes, definitely. Kaminga finds again a green. Shoots over Sabonis, and that's good. Draymond Green with his second bucket. As assist comes up here for Kaminga. That'll be his first assist of the night with under four minutes. You know, the hard thing about it, it's not really turning out to be like, you all in hand, but you have to give the pass out to them. This really has to be turned like they're our biggest plays in this game. I mean, come on, man. They're going to be showing off that everybody can do it. After a lot layup lane by Draymond Green, here's De'Aaron Fox. Fox over with the layup, and there we'll put it in. De'Aaron Fox with his first bucket. This season he has 26 points in this game. Usage of 30.8. It wasn't in the day, but he had to be out there like on your own. You know, a hard thing about it, De'Aaron Fox really gets to show it up here for the win there, and they have been going right for at it. Coming up in the last season of this game, they already won against the Golden State, as the Golden State Warriors already win, makes a win against Washington Wizards. They really have been struggling it up. We could see them in the next game out there. Do you guys think this will happen? Well, they might be going to take that one with another look. I'm thinking they can do for the next game. Well, let's see what the viewers think. Maybe they wanted to do something a little different than that. We'd love to have them out. Timeout call here for the Golden State Warriors with under three minutes to go. If you're looking towards for the next game, here's the match for you. As the Hawks are away, they're still in the current 10th seed, and they are facing against the Orlando Magic. And they are back at Amway Center here for the second time in the playoff play-in tournaments. At this point, it didn't really work out for them. As for 2020, it turned to be a devastation with the game because of a pandemic. They were unable to connect their runs to play in between the each games of the team. This wasn't that happened here before everything was been closed out here in March 2020 because that game gotten really gotten worse over the year because this was not the great day how it all happened. And then everything had to be closed entirely 
before that happened and changed everything until it's back to normal. While it's a hard part right now, crucial is, nobody likes to get COVID-19. If vaccinated, they want to get this one thing straight away. With a new additional look, as right now, a couple players are checked in for the Golden State Warriors and 4D Kings. Chris Paul and Looney are checked in with Sarge and Potemski. On the other side, 4D Kings, as for four players are checked out, Keegan Murray still on the court with Lyle, Starte, Monk, and Mitchell. You know the hard thing about it because you do not like to get pandemics out there. I mean, nobody wants to give that a fact. Maybe because of that happens, they don't want to give it alone. CP3 misses the three-pointer. Mitchell with his first rebound of the game. Now he finds Monk. He now gives it off to Mitchell. Paul watching him. Down to six on the shot clock. Murray for two. Solid D here on Andrew Wiggins. You know the fact of that one here because Wiggins was really been pacing things up. Maybe was, he was going to try to do it to deliver it hard. Anybody can do it that. Not just the only guy for himself. But he's been on a better team this time. Here's CP3. Step back two and this one misses again. CP3 is not going to get it done at that point. If he's going to get back into this game, then he has to keep on shooting it again. Now Mitchell on Pazemski. He finds Darte. Darte outside is Murray. Free, good on the range, and he ties it up for just 120 to go. Pazemski pass again to Paul. And here's Kevon Looney. Covered by Lyles. Back to Sarge. He now gives to Wiggins. Wiggins up. The two misses. Looney. Back the other way it goes. Paul's tipped. Still alive. Wiggins with the ball. Free. Tries again. Another miss. As Looney takes the rebound. And Paul's still going. Layup in. And he couldn't get the finishing drive. Oh, uh -uh, he's too hard at it. Chris Paul never really showed it up here after playing with the Phoenix Suns. But his team might need to get encountered to go with the infractor. Good team by Pazemski. Now here's Paul. He finds Sarge. And that one puts a one hand jam down. As Paul with the first assist of the night. You know, this happens to be like a good communication out there. Because Sarge really does it all. I know he's delivering it, but let's give a fact about him. He bounce passes to Lyles. Keep on Looney on him. Mitchell, screen on Murray. We're to drive and step. It's good! That is now Mitchell. Ties this game with 13. Chris Paul looking it over. He wants to finish this clock down. And will he get it? That's off the range. First quarter comes to a tight race. 13's in the score. We'll take a quick break and we'll get ready for the second quarter. This is like a hard one nobody has ever done with this showdown. Take all you can. That's what they gotta get doing. Keep it going. We are back right now here at Golden One Century. As this game comes to be a tight race in between the Warriors and the Kings, we are ready to start things off for the second quarter. You know, I thought really like a, a perfect, like a, it's like a long race to go in between. They've been really been pushing things off again. It's not how you do it. This hard one in the strength can be a lot challenging if they were really going to try to show them off who's the teaching of this drive game. I'm not really sure what is going to happen now. But there might be one way that's going to be there close by. Well, let me say about this, Life Free. There might be one chance, one game, and you're in for the play -in, playoff game now. If you're ready to take on, let's show you how to do it. Because this one is what we're all going for. Here's Clay Thompson. First three-pointer misses the range. Now Kevin Herter will have his ball in possession. He finds a pass to Sabonis. 
Here's Fox. Back again to Sabonis. Sabonis looking it over, trying to find Herder. Watching him. Sabonis pass to Fox. For the three, it's good. The range outside makes the connection in. After Sabonis with the assist. You know, the great cup feed comes along with this. That happens to be like that every time. But don't get uncomfortable if you know how to do it. Here's Stephen Curry. Shoots over Fox, and he'll get it in there as this will be a second bucket for Stephen Curry. The longer drive, the more powerful, the more perfection that you're going to get. That's what happens for Stephen Curry. He's going to get it all done. And the rejection by Green. Ball's taken it back. Loyal's up. Misses a layup. Oh, that would have been like a big takedown for Green. He's like a loose chain. Show him how you can feel. Kaminga for a three. Misses on the outside. Reporter from Alley LaForce, as we have told that Steve Kerr was given instructions for the rest of the players that really are going to try to get doing this before game time. You know, the possible enough here because they are really going to keep that thing over it. They really want to make sure that they can make you all stay hydrated and show their drills on their perfection. Yeah, the perfect range is not always impossible enough. But we'll see how this one turns. It could be a hard one. You may never know. First time I've called by Sacramento Kings as the Golden State Warriors lead up by one. 5.08 to go in the first half of the period. Stay tuned for tomorrow night's game as we've got the great coverage in between for the Hawks and the Magic. That will be happening here at Orlando at Amway Center before the playoffs starts in. And the Stanley Cup playoffs is on its way back as we're ready to have this first provisional bracket as we're about to be seeing what goes in for this team and find out who will take it all. You know the hard part of this? It's go time. Because both of each teams of the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference, they might be showing it up what could go here. Well, maybe there might be one fact about that because there's a lot of teams in California. First, there's San Jose. Second, there's the one in Anaheim. Then Los Angeles. And finally, you all calling for, you know that possible enough right now? Here is Sacramento. Some basketball teams and some hockey teams. Could be going for everything. The league leaders in a run for the Golden State Warriors in the last 10 games, 46.6. They're in fifth place, tied up with their run. Their easy average about this one. They are showing it what they can do to make the percentage of the rebound work. You know the hard thing about it? They really are doing a lot much harder than they can. They can't lose it out there. That's why it goes in that they are going to need to try to keep on going. Here's Curry after the layup drive by De'Aaron Fox. Kaminga backs it up, finds Peyton in the second. Good ball movement here for the Golden State Warriors. Clay Thompson looking it over, he finds a bounce pass to Green. Looks it back to Curry. Step on our ranks for three. Oh man, he's making good out there as they're back up by two. Oh man, Stephen Curry! Are you absolutely out of your mind? Nobody will know if he makes a free pointer to work out there. And Lyles gets it to go. Ties this game for 20. You know, it's not always easy when you get the good rebounding. You gotta hit that market. And now, here's Kaminga. Four minutes going by in the first half of the period, as they're still tied up. Thompson gives a pass to Kaminga. Up at the layup. That one misses off the target. Herder, up on its way, but right on to Peyton the second. Gives a pass to Barnes. Barnes finds Lyles. Lyles on him. Trying to make a back step. The screen. Barnes on Thompson. Lyles for two. It's good! The range outside puts a three-pointer up. After amongst the assists, they're back up in the lead. Oh, they're going to be a back-to-back -back switch out there. You can't mess them up. You don't want to make them lose. Thompson decide to take the three. Yes, sir! Thompson ties his game. He's still not leaving with us. You know the hard about that? Because Clay Thompson really got a good eye on it. He got good hands. He's hot now. Looking hot hands to make it go. 
Oh, Fox, nobody around him as the breakdown comes in for Stephen Curry. And Sabonis with the assist. Yeah, that's what happens. You don't want to do that because that will be a hard one. Draymond Green makes that dunk it. And no way, that must have been a hard drive. That might have been a currency. You get that balance in there. What a smackdown. The game's still tied, as the Iron Fox will have it. Try to step him down. No foul, as this one was almost going to be on Draymond Green. Lyles up. Buckets off the range. The foul puts up on Kaminga. That's his second personal. And Lyles will have to be at the free throw line shooting two. You know, nothing you can't do. This one's hard. When you go for the layup, you got pushed over. You're never going to get that one in there if you're going to try to look up over that target. Free throw coming up here for the Sacramento Kings with only 2.31 to go as he's looking for a chance to take the lead. The first one sends in. Now for the new substitution as Saric and their team will be making new changes as all five players are checked out. Five players are checked in as Paul, Wiggins, Saric, and Looney are checked in. The Kings are also making new changes here as Lyles moves out. Darte and Monk are checked in and Mitchell's checked in for De'Aaron Fox. That second one misses off. Now here's Saric. He will have his time. He'll give it over now to Paul. Here's the layup and he's fouled. Mitchell with his first personal, and he just got unlucky with that hit down. You know, not the hard thing about Chris Paul, you're making the finish drive easier. I think he's going to have to show what he does for his bench points. Chris Paul will be taking his chance at the free throw line, and this will be their first trip for the Golden State Warriors with 2.24 to go. I know never everything about Chris Paul. I mean, give a count on that if you can. He gets the first free throw. Stephen Curry's checked out as Pazinski will take the check back in for the Warriors. You know the hard thing about because of Chris Paul, he's been really been anxiously waiting for his time to be out here. He really wants to be practicing by himself with them. But when he's ready to take the one-on-one, -on -one, he's got to show clean. And a second free throw will set in for Chris Paul. They grab their lead by one. You need to do the hard thing about it because that's what happens now because Chris Paul never did a job done. Here's a pass to Murray. Murray missed out that shot. Monk takes it. It's good. Monk has his first bucket. Nearing down the two minute mark, it's a 28 27 game. Two minutes remaining in the first half. CP, mm -hmm. fine starch. He now gives it Pazemski. Pazemski gives a pass to Paul and now finds Wiggins. Wiggins trying to roll ankle breaking, watching out for trouble. He finds Looney. Looney up. Good. As Looney finishes up the drive with his first bucket. As this one turns to be overhead turning in and out. A marathon takedown. You know, the hard thing about it is they really are showing that they can't just leave a mark open. This gap was like a really tough in transition. They were really getting the thing done. And the finish puts up for Lyles. You know what happens because Lyles has really been taking over with this layup? He's been doing it all along. Can't leave the mark out of him if you know how to do it. And now he swings back to Mazemski, and now he gives it to Paul. Ball swings it. The pass is broken up by Darte. Darte grabs the lead. Misses. Good rebound by Sarge as Monk, as that one, would have been a chance to take the extension up by three, but it's been cut short as he misses the bucket. Oh, it would have been a great day if this would be a tie game. He could have had that one taken over. Sarge for three. Good! He backed the airway as Saris with his first three-pointer of the night. Here's Monk on Bozemski. 35 seconds left in the first half of the period. He finds Mitchell. Mitchell. Rolling it over. Tries to attempt it with the layup. 
Good T by CP3. He has his first rebound of the night and now give it back to Sarge. Looney up and he'll take it in there. Looney has his second bucket as Sarge with the assist. That has to be one exact change. You can always make the pass off look easy. The screen puts it in. Here's Lyles. Darte, will he beat it? No, that is the end of the first half. So it's the 34 38. Warriors lead by four. We'll take a quick break and we'll get back into the action at Sacramento. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right with you after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Bernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the champ, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. They did lead by as many as seven points in the first period. They were slightly better in the second. Not a big difference between these two teams. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what you think? Great work on the glass hole. The hustling and showing more design, the boxing out. That's what they have. That's the recipe for success. Shaq, what's your take on Sacramento? They need to turn up the intensity on D. Lots of guys standing around. Can't allow 50% shooting in the They need to make it tougher to be playing players. Force that offense out of this home And that's a wrap for our halftime show, the third quarter. Just about to get started. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And after the first half has been completed, we welcome you back here in the second half as we'll get this thing underway. Speaking of this guy for himself, De'Aaron Fox has been really on his tremendous game, and he's been always putting up a show run in between from the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference. He has 11 points, and he's been showing it for his point guarding percentage. And he takes all of his reputation and does it done. Yeah, the hard thing about Darren Fox, he's been going all over it from the team, and he's been really been on a hustle. Keep on going. Yeah, the whole one thing about Darren Fox is you got to keep on going. We start out with the second half, all filled and ready to go. Barnes is on Wiggins, Venice Curry on Fox. Domingo is also with also with Keegan Murray. Van Thompson, he's with Kevin Herter. And Wiggins, he, and Draymond Green is on to Bonas. Here's a start, as right now Curry has it. He finds it over again to Kaminga. Give a pass. Free for Curry. Misses her in the outside range of the start of the second half. And here's Fox. Trying to take the two, and it's missed again. Ali of Force had that report, and we also call it De'Aaron Fox is one of the biggest guys in the team. He's been doing all for his completion, all for mission for every other team to be like the same set that he had to be done before. You know, the hard thing about that one is because De'Aaron Fox really has to be like on a tremendous breakdown coverage. He's been going all over from the court, and he's been looking to get buckets in there and trying to keep on coming down. It's not what they do. They need to do some a lot of key technicians to get there. Here's the bonus after a shot by Clay Thompson. Over Green. Puts a rebound back up, and it's good. Drake demands this bonus with another rebound, and this one comes back down by four. Gotta keep on going if we want to get there. Here's Green. Finds a pass over to Thompson, and now Curry on the outside. Curry trying to look over with his motion offense. Finds it past to Wiggins. Give it back again to Kaminga. Time winding down. Thompson for three. Play back. Now again to Kaminga. He finds again to Curry. Taking some time. Looking over again to Wiggins. Wiggins. Here's a three for Kaminga. And another miss by Golden State. They're not shooting well enough out there. I don't know what's going on, but this may not be the day to be like this. And now Curry will have his ball in possession. He slides back over to Wiggins. Wiggins. Wolves a pass to Kaminga. 4.25 left to go in the third quarter of the period. Here's Wiggins over Fox. 
It's off. And a screen with the rebound. Curry pull it back to Kaminga. Wiggins try to go over with the screen. And now he comes to side to give a help to Kaminga. The finish the jerk. It's good. Wiggins with his five points of the game. Down to four minutes remaining in the third. You know, the hard thing about that one for Andrew Wiggins, he's been really like, try to keep that show going. Oh my! How does that happen like that for Keegan Murray if he's doing it? Oh boy! I never know what's gonna happen like that. Man, oh man, Murray, you're a star. <laughs> it's just a day it all comes in. Yeah, you can say that one again. Back to Thompson. Here's the pass. Curry for two. Good team by Fox. Green with another rebound. Wiggins up with a shot. He's fouled. Harrison Barnes with his first Bristol. And another team foul adds up for the Sacramento Kings. They are down to 323 left to go. And when you're talking about here, you don't get those shot offense. You always say that Andrew Wiggins has got pretty hard in that game. And now he's at the, the, he's at the free throw line. He's going to show it out and start. Another free throw coming up here for the Golden State Warriors with only 3.23 left to go. 38-34, looking to get a close run in the gap to tie this up. He missed the first free throw. Now for a new substitutional as Looney and Paul are checked in for Kaminga and Green. The Kings also making changes here as Monk will be checking in. That will be a replacement here for, for, for Harrison Barnes moving over. As right now, the next player comes off the court. And he hits the second free throw. Here's Fox. Hasn't scored yet in his second half of this period, but looking to get more. He's on CP3. Screen on Zabonis, inside the arc, and what a drive! Oh man, that the Aaron Fox got a good finishing layup in there! He's been going really well, just gotta keep tying this game, and Stephen Curry really needs to call for backup. Here's Paul, gives it past to Looney, with a layup, it's good! Another layup drive for Looney, as he has his third bucket. He's going over it now, and Zabonis can't get it up to go out of here. Their new Sabonis. And the dog puts in the performance to stop on Looney. It's now 30, 41 to 38. Gonna keep on attacking if you want to get that done. And now he swings it over to Thompson. Thompson gives the pass over to Paul. Paul gives the pass again to Curry. Curry again to Wiggins. Wiggins on a layup drive. Up again. No good. Barnes back to Fox. As now Golden State, he only has six points in this game. Two out of seven with a field goal range, and it's only one assist. Try to get it back. Back step. Oh, I think that was Looney to take that block shot. Oh, it may be that. I don't know if Kevon Looney got the piece of it. Looney go back again to Curry. And a three for Wiggins. Triple range good as Curry makes the assist. He has nine in the game. Keep on coming down, keep it strong. That's what happens. Andrew Wiggins never sees that one going. Oh, Andrew Wiggins got a piece of that one. And that's what you do. Show moves that one going down. CP3 for three. He doesn't stop here as Curry has that back. He finds again a Linny. Looney swings again to CP3, tries another three. That time he misses again. Oh, it's not going excellent well enough. He's missing the three pointers, he only has two. So that only counts in for the free throws that he wants to beat. And Sabonis finishes the drive. Nearing down the minute mark, it's a 44 40 game. Close battle range inbound as Paul will have his time given again to Wiggins. He now gives it back to Curry. Needs to make a new change up in his offense appearance. Bounce pass to Looney. Get back to Thompson. Five on a shot clock. Curry for three. It's good! The range outside keeps on coming as Stephen Curry gets ten points. And you know what happens now because Stephen Curry 
Doesn't find anybody open, so his time is he can shoot it. The pointer misses again here for Dementis Abonis. Now here's Paul. He'll give it over again to Kevon Looney. 20 seconds in the game, and now he gives it off to Thompson. Gives again over to Curry. Roll around, back to Wiggins. Up and over head pass to Looney. Up with a shot. That range rolled in now. Sabonis, Monk with a buzz beater. And he did make the half court shot. That could have been a make in for the goal for the, you know, for the Kings. That would have been a helpful to me if he was going to keep on going like he does. So far, three quarters are finished. We come down to the final quarter. It's a 47 40 game. And we'll be right with you right after this break. Coming up after this. And we have a talk for Steve Kerr. Right well, the moment this realizes, this happened to be what Steve Kerr has been getting his team done. And it's lately his importance is not the only way that he's really trying to like keep this offense going. You know the, what happens now because Steve Kerr was given that instructed at, and he's got to put it in to go. The last group is on as Kaminga is with Pazinski. Paul is also out there with Draymond Green. And Sarich right toward the corner. Ball for two, he got it. Chris Paul with his first bucket, he makes it in for his play in to get into the playoff round. Now, here's Monk. Finds a pass to Murray. Sarich on him. Mitchell for three. Misses the three pointer. Kaminga gives it again to Green, and now back to Sarge. Sarge over down to Green. He gives a pass over to Pazemski. Now finds Kaminga. Up at the shot. It's good. Pazemski got a good assist here in this game, and it's Kaminga with the bucket. Good pass. Good connection. Keep on living. Here's Lyles. Up at the shot. Pazemski got a piece of it. Here's Monk for three. He misses again. Lyle's up. Good team. Take back and bound. No chance. And Lyle's has that one finish up coming. 51 42 to score. They're looking to get back in to get a close quarter in the game. It's not what they do. Don't leave a pressure out because if you don't do it right, you're never going to get there in time to do this offense. Here's CP3 up at the two. And he misses again. Ah, uh, he's been not going well at this point. Can't shoot him alone. And this is what they're killing him for now, some other times. And a foul calls on Pesemski. Now be his first personal foul, and this will be another team foul for Sturdy Golden State. Malik Bunk with the rebound, and he will be at the free throw line shooting too. You know what happens with the offense is going to be like a hard one to take the games in this fact. It's not what you do, don't let them count. Never turn to the free throw line. Will be the Sacramento Kings. It's just 5-12 to go. Two shots. And he has his first free throw in. Now in the new substitution as Gary Payton the second will check in for Saric. Jonathan Camino will switch it over right into point four position. That second one down. Warriors lead by nine, and now finding again to Kaminga. CP3 decided to go for triple, and he's still unprotected. He's missing too many attempts here. You know, this offense is not going to get it done. Don't let it keep on handling it. And now I am good saying for a monk. They're back down by, by seven, and this one comes to be a 51-46 game. With the trail by five, here's Pazemski. Oh, back again to Pazemski. Puts a pass to Green. 
And back to CP3. Now this time he goes with a new change. Payton decided to get the lead up. It's good! Range outside for Gary Payton as CP3 with the assist. Can't leave the mark out of it. You know you can definitely take all over the team. Mitchell with ball in possession. Fade a shot. Lyles for two. I never miss my Sacramento. You know the hard thing about it because the defense keeps on rolling. They're going to get it done. Here's CP3 to finish the arc. That one's short in range. Lyles puts it back to Darte. Gets a piece. Warriors takes it over. As the last touch puts up here for Darte. That's what you do. That changes over to the, the visitors team bench the ball. Wiggins is checked in for Peyton a second. And the Kings also making another change off here. As now, it will be Sabonis checking in for Lyles. Wiggins trying to pull in the bound. With the lineup, oh, what a step in bound for Wiggins. He has finally dug it out with 11 points behind the Aaron Fox. Kings trail by 10. Here's Mitchell. The open pass to Darte for three. It's off the mark. Up again. Misses. Darte on Wiggins. Here's the bonus. On a plan. Now Green with the block. Oh, what do you know? That Green makes the rejection. You got to take him out. This one turns to be a deflection. You got to do what you have to do. Knock it out. Darte checked out as Harrison Barnes is checked in. Only 3-11 in a game of the fourth quarter. Now Murray. Stepping over to Green. Good team cover. Here's Green. Tries to give it over to Paul. And Paul tried to look over to Green. Here's the cut for a finish. It's in. Draymond Green with the assist. And it's now a 12-point game. Can't believe it. You know what happens to Chris Paul. He got better, he wants to finish it. Here's Mitchell, for the two, misses up. Wiggins with the ball, he now finds over to Bozemski. Bozemski gives a pass to Kaminga. Now he gives it over to Paul. Paul bounce passes to Green. Green, with a layup, good. As Green, Green has 10 points, and Paul with the assist. Can never lose that one out. You gotta help him to make the credit work. Timeout call by Sacramento Kings at 2.18 to go. Nearing down the mark. The winner that wins this game, and they will be heading over to face against at Minnesota. And this will be their first look at the appearance of the playoffs after season one was an incredible takeout for the Minnesota Timberwolves. They met each other here since 2K17 was the first season that happened to be here like they were able to do this for the first time and they are looking to see what they can do. Well the hard thing about it, they really need to get this thing up and coming. They really are just putting up a lot of great pressures to go in between here. But make the offense more better, their appearances, they keep on coming down. All you gotta do now is show respect. That's what Minnesota and Golden State show them up in a tight situation. We would like to remind you that the NBA play-in play tournaments on 2K Sports is brought to you by American Express. Don't live life without it. AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything with fast, reliable, and secure. And by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Now it's time to present your, th your New Balance Player to Game. All for a player who goes to Draymond Green. Draymond Green is like a perfectionary. He all has to be turned to be offense and defense. Gotta keep on coming in to make it go right. You know this offense comes in? Draymond Green, you show the response, you got that down on your heart. We have a report from Ali LaForce as right now, he's been talking it over to one of the coaches right now, and now Fox will have it. You know this offense can't get enough to go with the strength. 
the argument is not turning out really well. This one has to be a hard one to take on offense and do it a lot of his time with his respective work, and his offense can't lose it all. You know, it's not what they usually do because they really are getting these things over and done. They don't want to like leave the mark out of it to go alone. Kaczynski steps back, finally gets it in. He has his first bucket. And now it's a 62-46 game, and they lead up by 16. The pass to Fox. Good layup in. That's the Sabonis with the assist. They cut the lead back down by two. This offense can't lose get stopped and denying this, but they do not want to fear fear. They can't lose it all. Here's Kaminga. Pass that ball in possession. Looks to Paul on a step back corner. Oh, I think that one turned to be on Murray. What a rejection here. Oh, what a great stop on that one here. That has to be like a good block, but not a bonus idea. Mock on Mazepski. The screen. The Murray for three. Good. The range back down with a 62-51 game. CP3 getting a little bit tired out there, and now he finds Brzezinski up at the two. And getting it back will not be stacked. Here's Barnes with 50 seconds. Finishes. That goes in. Look at this one. 62-53 is coming back down in fast. I don't know what the offense is going to do now. They might have to forget about it. Here's Paul. Tries to find a pass to Brzezinski. Up at the two. Good. They're range in sight. That's Brzezinski. He has a second bucket. And Paul with the assist. Here's Fox. Tries to step back and bound. Over Green. It's off away. And a good pick up by Kaminga. Well, that's how you do. You're going to show him what you've done. Because there's no way that can stop you now. It's the Golden State team. Moving on to the first round. That's Paul will wind his game clock and shot clock down. This will be it. And that will be the end for the Warriors. Two seconds to go as there will be a last substitutional for both teams. And Fox will end here. And there you have it. Golden State Warriors moves on to the playoffs and they're ready to take on in Minnesota. This offense got to keep on coming. They got to make them go and get done. And a chance now to send you down on the court side is Ali LaForce. Hey, Ali. Thanks so much, Stefan. A big time victory tonight. What aspect of this win pleases you the most? Uh, we're a full team effort, obviously. We look at Slashy, but the little things I'm talking about that we did to win the game tonight are huge, and that's when it's winning time we showed up, and that, uh, that means a lot. It's got to feel good to see it come together. Thanks so much. All right, Ali, thank you so much for your support, and that's going to wrap it up. With along with Terry Crews, along with Gangsta Beast and Life Brain, this has been a presentation of the NBA Playing Tournaments. Hope you're having a fun one, and we'll see you next time. So long, everybody. I ask the Legos. Terry, thank you very much. As this one has got a great been a pleasure to go for Sacramento and Golden State on its rival matchups. They've been like, man, killing it shows off their respect. You know this offense can be a lot challenging. They get a thing done. They gotta show them off what they do fast. Here's how you did with the total statistics. 51% for the field goals for the Golden State Warriors with 35 three-pointers. And Sacramento had 83% for the Kings. Then it was 4, 32, and 8 for points and paint, fast break points, and second chance points for the Sacramento Kings. Bench points and assists goes to the Golden State Warriors. Offensive rebounds put to be 13 for Sacramento Kings. Defense rebounds for the Golden State Warriors. Then two steals only happened to be Sacramento. Four blocks that may have been determined that could be Kevon Looney, Draymond Green, and I don't know who is on earth could that be. Because there is going to be a lot of takeovers in between. Uh-huh, that's what they do. They get the same done here right away.
Three turnovers have to be on Golden State Warriors with two team fouls for Sacramento. And it was three dunks for Sacramento. 16 for the biggest lead and 16-06 was the Golden State Warriors with only two timeouts remaining. This offense can be a lot challenging, but this defense got a lot of great responses. And now it's time to present your three-star player of the game. Let's see what happens here. And I'm sending it over to Boomer. Who do you have there, my man? Thank you guys so much. It's right now time for three star players of the game. The third star, as I'm going to take over this one here, has to be all for everything that can all do for once. And this offense is going to start off from this angle. Andrew Wiggins with 11 points. He gets finishes off of his uh, performance effort with 4 out of 9 field goal range. Two three pointers were made. 13 was the effort to put his performance. Only one block has made the appearance. And it was 11, two rebounds, and he only made one assist. That's how you can handle with that finish. Number two, as I send you over to the King side, he has 15 points for De'Aaron Fox. He only had one rebound, two assists, and 19 performance effort that turned to be like a fancy swift to change that directional. It may be a change off, but you can't handle the pressure of Fox with the De'Aaron move. You get it done. 7 out of 15 field goal range, and so only one three pointers was made. And now your New Balance player of the game, all for once, not for Curry, but this guy, Draymond Green. He gets finishes with two blocks in his game of his appearance. Only one dunk was being down, and only 15 performance effort, 5 field goal range, 10 points in the game, and 8 rebounds with 2 assists. That's how you can do for Draymond Green, you get that job done. And that will be concluding it for three-star players. Back to you guys. All right, thank you so much, Boomer. As this have to be the end for everything for the Sacramento Kings, they're out of here. And this one is going to turn it over to the Golden State. As the 10th seed moves on to move on into the 8th seed, and it's a move on to play at Minnesota. That will be their first stop in the first round section, and that will be the end for everything for all the teams, and we couldn't have done it without all the commentaries, with all the hard work. And this offense, and defense, the visiting team, the home times, the referees, I mean, I can't believe that they are doing really well at that point. We'll see how well they do in the playoffs. And stick around for tomorrow night, it will be the Hawks and the Magic. That will be on the other side of the team, so keep your eyes peeled out for the next part of the game. And then the playoffs starts here. This offense, it's going to show them how it's done. I can't wait for the post game of the post season to show it how it is. Yeah, me too. In the meantime, I'm out of here now. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA play-in tournament on 2K Sports Style. This is Son of Beast and Wood Spoonie. See you all again for the next one. And we are out of here. Thanks for watching, folks. Peace out. Don't, if you don't, somebody will.